Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we get to test ride Zero Motorcycles high powered beast of a machine, the SRS and the SRF. It's going to be exciting. Cue the intro. <laughs> Well, let me just backtrack for a second before we start this video in case you've missed part one. So I got invited to a Zero Motorcycles press day where those guys basically looked after me for the day. They let me go out on their bikes and I got to ride a few. At no point did they say I couldn't say anything negative about the bikes or I you know, literally had no rules. It was just enjoy yourself, guys. And that's exactly what I think everybody there did. But just um, to let you know that I rode the SRS, what you're about to see first, and there's a little problem with my audio with the mic kind of went off to the right and got a lot of wind noise so that's a lot shorter than it could have been but to be honest it was just a short blast to we were charging station to charge that bike before I had to swap bikes again but I went on to the F and they're literally the same bike one with a fairing and one without so you're basically going to get the SRS first ride and the S uh, SRF as the second ride that literally then will give you kind of the full view of that bike itself with the fairing and without the fairing and when I say this is an incredible watch you'll enjoy this so shall we get on with part two of zero mode so Okay, so now we're going to take out the Zero SRS, and this is almost like the sports bike, the beast of the electric range for Zero. Um, so it, it feels quite big, it feels a lot more heavier. I'm going to get a short blast on this before we uh, check out the chargers, and I'll be swapping bikes again. So this is going to be a bit more of a short one, but I'm expecting a lot from this because this is the big one, this is the fast one. So this is going to be interesting. Here we go, we're off. definitely got that more sporty it feels more sports tourer feel is how i'd put this bike straight away it's kind of got that you can get down already and we're only poodling just getting out of the uh, entrance to the place but oh, i'm already excited it's like basically having a, a a bag of revels at the minute and every single one you taste is your favorite <laughs> oh this is good i want to give it some beans already but i know warm the tires up warm the tires up helmet head this is going to be a very short ride so we'll be taking it easy, unfortunately. So I'm only going to get a short blast, like I said, on this. Um, so it's going to be quite short, one on the SRS, and then I'm going to be swapping to more of the mid-size one, um, hopefully. Here we go. Silky smooth again. Look at that, that's quick already. Oh, the regen is so much fierce it's got a real kick you don't like i said the other one sort of lacked that engine brake and it was a lot smoother it had it but it lacked it this is like it's just spot on changing modes i'll do that in a second let's get going right, i'm going to change it to sports mode and if it's bad boy proper go because eco mode is it's good i want sports mode street Oh baby, sports mode. You ready? Here's sports mode. Again. Whoa! Oh, 
carried away. <laughs> I got really carried away. I enjoyed it too much. Um, like really too much then. So just before I swap off of the SRS, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly charge them. It's quite simple. Right behind me is the charger. You go to whichever wrap you're going to use, you plug it in and you wait for the time. Now these are like, you know, 80 to 90%. We've not gone very far. So they're literally taking five, 10 minutes and they're fully charged really quickly, really cool. So a quick charge break and then I'm going to jump onto a different bike, the final bike of the day. And we're going to have some epic fun. We can get the drone up hopefully. And we're just going to enjoy just a chill out, chill out ride and see what it's like to relax a little bit. Because all so far I can keep doing is gunning it, gunning it, gunning it. But yeah, let's get them charged and let's enjoy a nice chilled out ride on these beautiful electric bikes. Look at the dashboard. Let's tell you the rate that it's charging at. Okay, so we've just done a charging stop. They're all sticking together. I'm going off on my own because I like to do things by myself and it comes down to the filming. Um, it's quite easy to charge. You can watch loads again, people doing it on YouTube. You plug it in, you use the app, you put the charge button, it takes as long as it takes to charge. You're looking at, you know, for us then it was like, I don't know, I got mine down to about 50, I don't know, 40, 50, 60%, whatever it was, and it was a good like, hour or so, so it's not a zap fast, fast charger, but hey, it's all good. Anyway, what I'm on now is the SRF, is the full powered version, exactly the same as bike I rode, but without fairing, slightly more upright, more kind of like Batman's bike, more Street Fighter kind of style of feel. And my plan now is just to go straight off into sports mode because I'm done with eco mode, I'm used to them, I like think I'm used to them now. Um, get the tyres a bit warm, have a little bit of fun, and then just chill, enjoy the chill outside it because I can't stop doing this. <laughs> oh my days! Whoa! Because it is like unbelievably epic. Oh wowzers that is! Anyway, I can't stop doing that because for that reason that you can see, because it's so epic, you can't stop yourself. Now this feels. A very much aggressive bike this this is the like i said the srf street bike I'll put this down because you won't be able to hear me in a second it's very much street fighter kind of aggressive makes you want to kind of go and rescue people i really like it straight away i mean i'll go back to it the, the power is just unreal it's supersonic now um we're, we can do 70 because we're on a dual carriageway, it's all good. And it will hold it all day long. I mean, to be honest, this is like, it's like sitting on a rocket. Literally, a rocket sparking it when you turn that throttle and it flies you into space. It's just unreal. Now, the thing is about this kind of bike is, is that yes, you're gonna to wanna to give it the beans and yes, you, the moment that you turn that throttle, it's just pure ripping you off the bike, excitement but you can't ride like that all the time. So you're gonna ride it like this, within the speed limit, comfortable. I'm getting a lot more wind bash from this model than the other model, but I prefer this model straight away because I actually feel, I feel better seated in it. And my feet are still back. It's still aggressive, but I, I enjoy this. I like it. And I think it looks even bit, 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 bit better, but that's my opinion. And, and now I've got this for a, a little, a little bit of time, a few hours. I'm gonna really get to experience this one. I wanted the other one for longer, I'm not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, this one is probably the one I'd end up buying out of those two. Um, I still stick to the original bike I rode, that uh, almost trial style one. That probably suits my needs even better for what I like to do, but I want them all. I want every single one, zero. Oh, you guys are incredible. Who would have thought an American-made machine 
would go round bends like this bad boy goes round bends. <laughs> oh, what a cool bike. Okay, I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Right, let's talk about the bike itself so on a review point of view now. Again, as I'll say it and I said it before, the way I like, the way I talk about and I do a review is if I'm somebody that's bought it, I'm somebody that wants to enjoy it. I've facts and figures are there. If you want to go scrolling through it, check out, you know, check out Jim Bob, whoever it is, channel that will tell you the exact pounds per sausages coming out of the back wheel and all that stuff. It doesn't interest me. What interests me is the thrill. We already know they're lightning quick. Everyone we've been on is like back of the seat quick. So on comfort level, I'm reasonably comfortable, like I said at the moment, slightly aggressive stance, but the bike itself is a nice, comfortable ride. Again, you'd think it would be really heavy having a big battery in it. I can wheel it in and out of that car park. Just as easy as I can wheel my Triumph Bonneville in and out. It's light enough, it, they've got the weight in the perfect right place. It just works spot on. And then what I'll turn around and say is when it comes down to handling, we've proven this already with these bikes. When we get to roundabout, we'll give it a little bit more beans to go around. But I can tell you now, the handling is silky smooth. You'd happily put your knee on the floor, let alone you don't need to because you're on the road, but you would. It's just, they're just, they are generally all of them, but this one, we're talking about this one, aren't we? The SRF is just, it is that Street Fighter style kind of Mad Max feeling bike. Oh man, so we're coming up to roundabout now. And what we'll do, we'll check out the handling. Take it around this beautiful bend. They all going that way, yes, look at that, perfect. So here we go, nice, easy. Oh yeah, that is just so smooth. Oh, that is like no problem. And then of course, you're faster than anything on the road. You just zoom up behind everything. So yeah, handle inside, this baby is spot on. There is no issues with it at all, I'd say. It doesn't feel top heavy, doesn't feel unhandled, it just feels smooth. Acceleration is like unbelievable. It has the power of a zillion horses. I mean, I'm just, <laughs> just touching the throttle. It's all I'm doing, just caressing that throttle. And it's whoomp past the cars. Power by ample size. The, the, the ride itself, I'd actually say on this, feels smoother than the last one. The SRS is a little bit more money. This has actually got a more smoother feel to it. The other one's set up more sporty. This has definitely got a little bit more smooth. Comfort on the seat, let's bounce up and down. It feels nice and solid. Again, it's not, I wouldn't class it as a spongy seat, but it's nice. Ah, oh, you absolute sausage dog. Yeah, it's comfortable, positioning, heels back, sporty feel, but still nice. So the controls and these, we've got everything, cruise control, heated grips, the whole lot through the mode. It's just the same as any bike. I can show you to press a button to hold cruise control on, but it does what every, all the other bikes do as well. So yeah, if you just want to cruise around, bang on the speed limit, this will hold it all day long. I think people seem to think electric bikes are underpowered, sort of top end, it's the opposite. It's power all the way. There is no kind of slack off the of power, you can't feel it at least, it just flies along. As I keep saying, silky smooth performance, comfortable position, weight's good on it. It's everything that you want on that kind of jump on bike. And I can literally see you walk out your door, you've been, been on charge at home, you've got a full, full tank of electric and you go and have fun. You're not worrying about petrol stations and stop unless you're going big distance. Now, again, I'm riding it a little bit aggressively. I have been, it's got 60 miles of range on 88% left of the battery. And let's be honest, how many of us really, really do more when we go out for a spin? And I mean a spin, a pop out with your mates or go and grab a coffee somewhere pretty. You probably do between 50 to sort of 80 miles and this will do it easily every single day. And if you find a place, and that's the one thing I'd say, it's almost a mindset change with these bikes. You, you learn where the chargers and stuff are and a lot of these places I go to in the country and country parks have chargers put in place and most of the time they're absolutely free. So you just plug it in, you go and get your coffee, you get your walk, you enjoy chatting to your mates on the bench with some chips etc. And let it soak in its little bit of charging and come back and then you've got plen plenty of juice. But even if you haven't, you've, most rides you do, you know that's going to be about your average. Now, 
what I would love to do is take one of these, any zero really, and do a massive adventure on it. Because I generally think you could prove that it isn't exactly hard work. Now, you've just got to make sure you plan your stops and you've got a backup stop on the way. I'd always turn around and say from driving an electric car that you basically get to, you use about 70% of your battery. When you're down to your last 30%, you plan a stop. You've got a bit extra if there's a problem with a charger at a location to get to another one. You plug it in, you grab yourself a coffee or you chill out, 45 minutes, jump back on it, do your next blast. And obviously people are going to say, well, if you want to travel to Scotland or to Scotland, then it's not the bike to do it on. You can do it. It's just having a good plan. And it's a different way of riding. It's, I, I found that with my car. It's a chilled out way of doing it. You just plan and you chill out and you take that break you actually need. So when you do get on the bike, back on the road, you feel really, really good. Um, and I'd like to do it. I generally would like to ride one of these some massive distance, go on a proper tour for a week on one of these, or even a month, and just see, you know, how cool it would be and how accessible it is. Because I'm pretty sure you could easily do it with a bit of planning, you could easily do it. And it would cost you peanuts because they just run on electric and cheap electric but a boom but a bing there's lots of uh, holiday costumes you can rent and hotels with charging points that are either pay or free so again what you do is you go actually i'm going to stop here or i'm going to stop at a campsite with a charge point i'm going to plug it in and charge you wake up next morning boom there's your 100 mile of range for your first leg of your trip you stop for a nice bit of lunch make sure you plan someone where there's a charger plug it in boom after lunch you've got yourself a charge bump into the evening, finish off your ride at your next destination that you know again has got a charge point there, plug it in and you're back out the next day. You're golden. And it's a mindset. It really is a mindset. Anyway, back to the bike. Back to the bike. The electric beast between my legs. I really like it. That's all. This pretty much is... is it, I'm, I'm pretty sold on it. Um, now, I do want, like everybody, I want the... Um, I want the you know, the big 1200cc. I want the Speedmaster as a good example of what I want to buy next. And I want to do some touring on that. But this is very tempting, very tempting. And it's going to be a tough decision because like I said, when you can do stuff like this, <laughs> and all I can hear in my helmet is wind. Some earplugs, it's silent, deadly silent. I mean, as you've seen from my channel, there's a guy that I, I've done a few things with who's starting start to become a regular, who is called Batman. And he goes out and rescues people all on his bike. This is your stealth bike, Batman. This is what you need to go and rescue. They won't even know you're coming. It would be absolutely epic. So quick. I can't stop. I've got to stop doing that. I wanted to say on this review, all I was going to show you was how relaxed you can be and how peaceful this bike is. Listen. Can you hear the birds? Oh, okay, I can hear wind. Okay, but that's the point. It's just chill out. There's no all day long. I don't know people love it, but silence, it's golden. Oh, peace, the awesomeness, all in the same place on this bike. So again, I suppose the big question is, would I buy the F or would I end up buying the S? I'd probably buy this. I like this more than I like that. I like that. That was nice. Absolutely. It's the big one. It's the one that everyone's talking about. Absolutely. And it's, you know, it is like same power as this. It is like crazy. But this feels, because it's losing all that plastic, it feels open and free. As to me, as a personal opinion, I would probably, probably pick this one. Listen. Can you hear that? Ooh. Tron, I'm telling you. Because hopefully the other guy on the one would have gone crash into my zip of line behind me and I've won the game. I do like this bike. I do, I liked every one of them. Now, I, I kind of come in knowing that, you know, because I'm massively open-minded on electric without a shadow of a doubt. Um, because again, like I keep saying, I've got a car I'm converted when it comes down to cars. But I wasn't about bikes. And I was in an R and I generally felt like bikes are, I thought they are at least five years behind still um, and they're not ready yet. And I've just seen, we've all seen the live wire on a certain episode, um, what's getting a lot of interest. And, and obviously zeros they practiced on there. 
Um, and I generally thought I'd go on this and think that they're really kind of cheaped out on certain bits and it's not as good. I couldn't be more wrong. I couldn't be more wrong. It, it, it feels good. It looks good. And it rhymes sublime. I want one. I really, really want one. And I want this one. And I want the other one I could do trials on. I want both. Ah, oh, ah, oh. power! Woo okay, let's talk about dashboard controls. Very much the same as the other one. You've got your state of battery just there. You've got your range just there. You've got your miles per hour just there. You've got your mode in. Sports mode's all good all day long. If it was rain, I'd definitely put it in rain because it's got so much oomph for power. You've got your battery temperature just there. Just there, sorry. And then you've got your motor temperature just there. So your battery and your motor temperature. And you've got a clock so you know you're not going to be late for when you get home for your tea. Happy days, and you also know it's 17 degrees outside. I haven't seen that on a bike, you know, 17 degrees outside. I haven't seen that on a bike before, so I quite like that. I know at the moment I'm nice and cozy. It's all good. Like I said, heated grips over here, on and off button just there. It's the same as the kill switch, but it's your on and off button. You go through your modes, you can, oh, I've just put the light on. How do I turn that off? Just like that. Um, on your modes here, you can flip through, you hold it in for a second, it flashes up as you can see on the monitor. You can select between beast. This has a beast mode. I've just discovered beast mode. I want beast mode. I'm going to have a go in beast mode. Oh, beast mode. I need to let a car have a big gap. No more cars, no more. Oh, hello. You're not quick as this, mate. Okay, let's just give them a few seconds. Let's just get to the 60, ready? We're gonna trickle up to 60 and we're gonna beast this. Put my helmet down because I'm going to be ripped apart here. Three, two, one, go. Oh my giddy heart! It's Hyperdrive! I'm going back to the future! Oh my gosh! Oh, I feel my ice watering inside my helmet! <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> I can't believe that! That's awesome! Oh! I want it so bad. It's so responsive. Beast mode. <laughs> they didn't tell me it had beast mode. What a bike. What a machine. Oh, wow. I need to turn this back into eco mode, right? Because <laughs> I'm not going to have a license soon. Ah, oh, eco. Street. Eco. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Happy thoughts. Rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> I want this bike so bad. Oh. oh, wow. My nose is running. So look, right, okay. <laughs> I just want this bike. So what we're doing, this is, again, typical country, kind of B-road, beautiful. The bike is as smooth as, as smooth as butter. It is just... I'm sold. I'm just sold on this bike. Oh wow. So yeah, it's smooth as silk. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm aching up here because I've just been hanging on to a nuclear, huge rocket, sonic booming jet machine. Um, and if I hadn't have done that, I'd be even more comfortable. But oh my, blinking days, this is one beautiful machine. One absolutely beautiful machine just I don't you can't even between you, you've got to ride it you've got to go off your bum and jump on one of these bad boys because it's like it's like a whole new breed of motorcycle that's like futuristic and, and but it's now you don't need to wait 20 more years the future is already here oh wowzers I like this I really like this I mean, just look at it straight away. It's just an absolute beast. I mean, you'd think that that would feel like it just is overpowering on weight and you won't be able to handle it. But again, the weight ratio they've got is so, because they've got it so low down, it feels like like a 500, 600cc bike, maybe an 800. It's kind of got that weight ratio. It does a really good job. And to me, that is one of the fastest bikes I feel like I've ever ridden because it's instant power from that engine instant power down to that belt it just absolutely flies i mean it's just absolutely gorgeous to ride it's a whole new experience but a good experience i mean check out the cool clock again it's just 
is, you know, the display's good. I can see it in all the different light. It's just absolutely, it's an epic beast. Absolutely epic beast. And I'd have one in my garage. Like I keep saying, I would have one of these in my garage any day of the week. It is just blinking cool. It is just awesome. So yeah, the there you go. It's got the 14.4 kilowatt battery. People go, what does that mean? It just means it's got that decent range, 100 plus miles when it's fully charged if you drive well and safe. But reality is you're gonna get a good 80 miles out of this beast any day of the week. Take it easier, you'll get further. It's simply the same as when you nail your, your, your sports bikes, you're gonna suck up fuel. It's exactly the same thing. But this is a dream machine to ride. It really, really is. It's head turner, it's fast, and it's just really cool. Well, I think the thing to do now is, as always, is put the montage together. So ladies and gentlemen, I give you one of the coolest motorcycles I have ever had the pleasure of riding. The Zero SRF. What a beast. Enjoy this. Well, there you go. There is the zero motorcycles that I got to ride on that press day. And completely straight down the line, I've got to say that I just want to add, I want to add the SRF and also the FX to my garage if I had the money. And I would generally, if I got the opportunity with zero motorcycles, take one of them on an epic adventure because I really think with the right planning and changing the mindset of the point of having to fill up with petrol every time and planning your stops where there's charging stations and planning where you spend your night where you can charge the bike, it's like going to be pretty easy trip. I reckon it's going to be quite simple to use it, almost as a tourer. So I'd love to prove that point, but what I'll say is, is that even the FX 
made me enjoy going off-road even more. It's an incredible experience and unless you jump on one of those bikes and really test ride them, you, you kind of don't get it. It's You lose the sound of the engine, but you get this Tron kind of sound that's really addictive, that kind of whoa, and it just makes you want to go faster and faster. It's just an absolutely incredible experience and I generally do feel, and I've ridden many motorcycles over the years, and to me that motorcycle is something I'd be more than happy have to sort of own. I'm not saying that the combustion engine is out in any way whatsoever, but to add a zero to my collection would proper rot my world. So you never know in the future, that could be a buy of mine. And I really think zero motorcycles have got it spot on. These guys aren't messing around. Their bikes are absolutely incredible. They're well built and they've just got unbelievable amount of power and they're dead smooth and comfortable to rise. So zero motorcycles, well done. You guys are doing a fantastic job and thank you so much for letting me come along for the day. Anyway, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. If you've not yet, please click on that subscribe button and hopefully you'll enjoy it. And as always, thank you to my patrons, all the guys there, you'll see the names in the credits. All these guys, every single month, help towards funding this channel, hence why we can get as many videos as we can. So if you think about becoming a patron, there's all links in the description as to patron. There's also now on YouTube where you can join. And I've created a little tip jar. If you want to buy us a coffee, etc., take a look at that. I'd really appreciate it. It's a lot of hard work. But at the end of the day, I love making these videos. So thank you so much for watching. And as I said, a massive shout out to everybody that watches these videos from patrons to subscribers to all the guys that spend their time watching the videos. Thanks, guys. I do appreciate it. And last but not least, obviously, the most important thing, and it is the most important thing in life, is eat pies, ride motorcycles, and be happy. I will see you in the next crazy adventure. Take care for now. Bye bye. Thank you.